Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we're going to fix FPS drops and we will increase boost FPS, especially in Valorant game. We will be doing only three simple steps to fix this problem and it is really very easy and there will be a definitely be a change once you, you know, do all these three simple tips. So the very first thing is to do the right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And at the left hand side, you have many options. This will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So no issues. At the left hand side, you will find gaming and we will go to this gaming section under settings. And here the very first option will be Xbox game bar. So I will click on that. Please make sure it is turned on. And then we have this related settings. Uh, click on that. And here you will find change default graphic settings like that you can optimization i would not recommend to do anything in that here once you will be in the graphics you need to search for the valorant game here since uh, it is not installed in this computer uh, in your computer whatever the game even if you do not have valorant or any other game if you have you just need to select that go to options and then use high performance all right so if you have selected power saving or let windows decide i would recommend to select high performance this will actually take the resources from graphic graphics card and it will help to boost the gaming fps once you have done that we need to go back and here we will go to gaming section again Turn on the game mode as well. Optimize your PC for play by turning these things off. So please make sure the game mode is turned on. And the next step is to click on the search icon and type power. And you will find edit power plan, choose a power plan. So I would recommend to click on choose a power plan. And here you have a balanced gaming or ultra high performance, high performance select the high performance one if you do not see any a uh, high performance or ultra high performance you can create a new power plan and while creating a new power plan you will get an option to select high performance so once you are done select that uh, plan power plan and once this is done we need to move to the next step and the next step is really very easy you need to check the graphics card first because if you do not have a um, updated graphics card that will also not boost uh, your PC and for that you just need to do a right click and go to device manager and here you will find your display adapters and under display adapter you might be using AMD or a Ryzen um, I mean um, Nvidia graphics card or Intel graphics card like that you just need to do a right click go to properties and see the driver date here all right try to update the driver or just take the name from it and manually update that particular driver you have all right and once you are done there is one last thing which we need to do is to click on the search icon and type or just just type run and i'll open the run window and here you need to give a command sysdm.cpl. You can note it down sysdm.cpl. Just click on OK. And here you will find computer name, hardware, advanced system protection, remote. Now we will go to the advanced settings. Here the performance. There is an option called performance under advanced visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual settings now here we need to click on settings now you will have let windows choose what what's best for my computer adjust for best appearance and adjust for best performance now please keep in mind please take a note of it if we select adjust for best performance overall the look and feel of the computer will not that be good however the performance of your computer uh, while gaming will be enhanced so what i would recommend whenever you play game you can select adjust for best performance and click on apply 
and OK. And once you are done with the game or if you do not like that, you can simply select let Windows choose what's best for my computer. That's it. These are the things which you need to do and also make sure uh, you don't have any unwanted applications at the, you know, um, you can simply click on the search icon type. These are the uh, bonus tips which I'm giving you. Just type in, in the search icon type appwiz.cpl and here you will find appwiz control panel item. Just uninstall any unnecessary application. Also disable some startup items which you do not need just do a right click in the start icon and then go to task manager and here you can simply disable the startup apps which you do not need so you don't have to disable graphics or sound audio or security just look for the application which you do not need you can see I have very few applications enabled at the startup and rest of the applications are disabled. I can use it whenever I want to. Whenever I'll open, it will be working for me. All right. So these are the things which you need to do and you just need to restart your computer. And one more thing which you need to do is to update the windows. Yes. So click on the start icon and go to settings. And here at the left hand side, you will find a windows update. Please make sure you have all the latest updates for stability, improvement and uh, faster performance. So check for updates and install all the updates which you have, whether it's a Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Guys, please hit the like and subscribe and please leave a comment uh, how much FPS was earlier and how much it is now. Has it changed the FPS or not? Is this video helpful or not? Please do let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.